Kia ora, big fella. Long time, eh? For a lot of things, come to think of it. Long time since we shared a brew. Long time since I've used a pen and parchment. Or had to bloody spell parchment. And a long time since we've talked. I ain't bad at getting a mob riled up, but I never really took to the real talk thing. A 30-30 usually said everything I needed to. But now, Syndicate's got me in a cage, mate. Ain't long till they make an example out of me, so, cuz, we got a corridor. Thought we wanted the same thing, you and me. Freedom. But we fought for it. Burned cities to the ground for it, but maybe freedom means a whole lot of different things to a whole lot of different people. To me, it means not being controlled by some egg who thinks he knows better. To you? Maybe it means following your heart. Always wondered what my last request would be. Figured maybe a steak or getting to punch someone real important. Turns out it was writing this bloody letter. Anyway, better freshen up. The hangman's noose calls. Thinking of you. Then. Now. And always. Mad Ma- Margaret. Welcome back, my legends, and today I'm going to finally talk about Fuse and Maggie's relationship. Now, Apex on their Twitter page released something called Maggie's Last Words, and basically it's a letter that Maggie wrote to Fuse before she was going to get executed by the Syndicate. So this technically takes place between her cinematic. After her trial where she sped her tooth at the magistrate's eye, she was put in solitary confinement, and I guess in death row, she requested one last thing to do, and that's to write a letter to Fuse. Now, in this letter, letter what happens is that maggie kind of explains everything and opens up and shows her soft side and basically tries to explain to fuse what she meant to him now in order to understand the deeper lore here you first have to understand a bit of maggie and fuse's lore now in fuse cinematic as good as gold it's kind of hinted that fuse has been living maggie's life in other words all fuse has ever done throughout his entire life is try to help maggie's dream come true of her one day becoming a war lord but in doing so fuse wasn't able to accomplish his own things or be his own person in other words maggie never really noticed that fuse was miserable now am i saying this as in she's a bad friend no i'm saying this because in her letter she kind of clarifies that she thought that fuse and her had the same goal basically that they wanted to protect salvo and keep its freedom but that wasn't really what fuse wanted fuse just wanted to do his own thing but maggie was kind of keeping a tight leash on him now in maggie's perspective she was probably doing it to keep few safe because she does say stuff like this well he's our first blood eh let me guess he ran in without a plan and that simple head of his and here's your apex champions and fuse seems like yesterday i had to kill his spiders for him and this is really important because this goes back to maggie because maggie in her letter said that the reason she's fighting for salvo's freedom is because she doesn't want to be controlled by some egg who thinks he knows better and this right here is the problem of maggie because maggie doesn't want to be told by somebody else how to live her life yet that's exactly what she's been doing to fuse this whole time now in maggie's final paragraph of her letter what maggie is trying to say without really saying it is that this letter is her trying to apologize to fuse and also because deep down it wasn't that she was mad at him for joining the apex games it's that she felt like fuse was leaving her behind it's the reason she says that she's always thinking of him now then and always for maggie losing fuse is more painful than actually dying which is very symbolic because if you go back to their cinematic as kids we can see that maggie is chasing after 
confused. Almost like the cinematic is trying to tell us that Maggie can't live without Fuse. Which will explain why she's always been so controlling of him because she's secretly too afraid of losing him. Now the sad part about all this is that Amanda, one of the writers, kind of said that Fuse didn't read this letter. Now this is very important because what this tells me is that deep down Fuse no longer sees Maggie as a friend and probably is questioning if she was ever a friend to begin with. Now this is very important my legends because when Fuse decided not to read the letter we also see that Valkyrie was in the bar. Now I believe that Valkyrie is going to keep the letter safe until Fuse is emotionally ready to read this letter from Maggie. Now personally I'm kind of happy that Fuse didn't read this letter because Maggie didn't really say the two magical words in this letter. She didn't say I'm sorry and I think it'll be more meaningful and impactful and Maggie says these words to Fuse's face than him reading the letter because that will mean a lot more to Fuse and probably end up with him forgiving her and becoming friends again in the future. And so thank you for watching my legends and a big thanks to my sponsor for this video Glitch Energy. If you want to be more healthy and focused and become a Masters player like everybody else then go get yourself some Glitch Energy. Use King Care to get 25% off all your purchases and thanks again to Glitch Energy and I'll see you all next time my legends. Peace.